All right, Warriors, I'm back. Two videos in one day. It's a freaking miracle. It's just one of those days I got a little extra time on my hands, so I figured I'd dedicate it to making another video. In this video, this morning we did one where we did the, the uh, rolling hammer fists. Something a little bit different, something easy to do, less injury to the hands and a traditional punch. Easy to get it down, easy to learn it, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, we're gonna do, uh, uh, this afternoon we're gonna do a front kick to the groin or the bladder or the midsection. And in earlier videos, I don't know how long it's been, a couple years ago we did one uh, demonstrating the front kick. You basically just lift your knee, kick with the ball off your foot, curl your toes back and, and or, and, and uh, strike the opponent or you can just do a, Stomp kick with the, the entire bottom of your foot if that's easier. If you use the ball of your foot though, uh, it's a, you're gonna be a little bit more accurate and you create a little bit more pain. And typically when I teach people from the waist up, we use punches. From the waist down, we use kicks and knees. So I never typically go higher than the, than the groin or the, the bladder, you know, unless they're extremely short. But anyway, so basically you just, you know, you've got your hands up and that, oh, for, before I keep going, these techniques are for self-defense purposes only. And before doing any physical exercise, please consult a physician. We all know what that's for. But anyway, hands up in that defensive mode, not the offensive mode, because everybody's got a camera, you don't want to get in trouble. Hands up, when they get within range and you know it's going to get bad, you're just going to quick punch, step down, boom, boom, boom. And you can throw hammer punches like this, or as you step down, throw a couple of palm strikes, or step down and smacks to the side of the head, the ear, the jaw. You can even come from here upward, one low, one high. So basically from here, you're gonna step forward, step down, boom, boom, boom. And you just want to do that slow till you get it down. I mean, it doesn't have to, it's not going to look like it does in the movies. That shit is over choreographed. They do it over and over again for the camera till they get it right. You got one chance in a street fight. You don't get it right, you're fucked. You probably get your ass kicked or, or worse and end up in the hospital. So again, your hands are up. Okay, that took what, like one second? And it's over. Even if it's one shot, if you're here, you step, step down, throw that backhand flick that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, and set yourself up. Because this is gonna hurt. You hit that, you hit the knee, you hit the top of the thigh, you hit the groin, the bladder, midsection, they're gonna stop. And when they stop, nail them. If you come in and step and they double over, then grab it and throw a knee to the head. Or if they go, way over, run, get the fuck out of there, run. You don't gotta be a hero and keep kicking their ass. If you keep kicking their ass once they're down and somebody's filming it, guess who gets in trouble if it goes to court? You. So basically, hey, I don't want any trouble. End it, it's over, done. Walk away, go home. Eat some fucking Cheerios. But anyway, um, practice that, again, you can do it either way. You can do it off your front foot, boom, boom, boom. Off your back foot, step to that side. Same thing, if you're kicking the back foot, right footed, you're gonna step out. Because you know, if you're coming straight forward, you don't wanna walk into them. I'm coming in, I'm hitting them, stepping out. Same thing, if I kick off the front, step down. It's easy. You might get lucky, just stun them. Step in, grab the throat, and say, look, I don't wanna take this any further. If you keep fighting me, I'm gonna fuck you up. Because from here, if you step in, you got the elbow, come back, break the face, rip an eyeball out, tear his nostrils up, whatever, it's all fun. But anyway, practice that. Again, you're coming in. That's the way you want to do it. 
once you get it down and get your timing and your speed and your distance control down, that's the way you want to do it. Anyway, until the next video, have a great evening.